369. A shelter in the time of storm. 369 in your songbook. A shelter in the time of storm. The Lord our rock, in him we hide, a shelter in the time of storm. Secure whatever ill be tight, a shelter in the time of storm. Oh, Jesus is a rock in a weary land, a weary land, a weary land. Oh, Jesus is a rock in a weary land. A shelter in the time of storm, a shade by day, defense by night, a shelter in the time of storm, no fears, alarm, no foes, a fright, a shelter in the time of storm. Oh, Jesus is a rock in a weary land, a weary land. A weary land. Oh, Jesus is a rock in a weary land. A shelter in the time of storm. On the third, the raging storm may round us be. A shelter in the time of storm. We'll never leave our safe retreat. A shelter in the time of storm. Sing it now. Oh, Jesus is a rock in a weary land. A weary land, a weary land. Oh, Jesus is a rock in a weary land. A shelter in the time of storm. Oh, rock divine, oh, refuge dear. A shelter in the time of storm. Be thou our helper ever near. A shelter in the time of storm. Oh, Jesus is a rock in a weary land. A weary land. A weary land. Oh, Jesus is a rock in a weary land. A shelter in the time of storms. Let the church say amen. Amen, amen, amen. Right there on the hallway there, Brother Grant. I believe there's some Bible conference flyers. Could you pass them out for me right there? Thank you so much, okay? And uh, you can be seated. Our Bible conference will be here before you know it. I want to welcome uh, right out there in the hallway there on that table. Brother Grant is going to do that for me. And I want you to make sure that you have a Bible conference flyer tonight. And I want you to pray. And I want you to ask God. I want you to um, pray for every speaker, okay? Every, every speaker, okay? Um, Brother Tim, Brother Tim will be um, kicking it off, okay? Um, and uh, he'll be starting it off there and preaching. And, um, and so, um, yeah, that'd be fine. And just remember those dates on Sunday morning, okay? And um, he'll be uh, preaching. And, of course, my son Danny will be coming in, and uh, he'll be preaching, coming in from the Chicago area there, First Baptist Church in Hammond, working in a Spanish ministry. And I want you to pray for Danny, the Spirit of God, to come upon him, and, of course, his children, his wife, and be traveling. And, and I want you to be praying for their safety. I want you to pray that God would bless them, okay, and use them in a great way, all right? And uh, what a wonderful lineup we have. Brother Burley, of course, will be preaching. And by the way, pray for Brother Burley and his family on vacation. Pray that they be safe, a safe flight uh, out there in California, so far away. Pray for safety and pray that, um, that they, will, um, um, they will be refreshed, okay? So pray. I appreciate it so much, okay? And ask God to bless, bless them, the Burley family, while they're on vacation. But pray for the Spirit of God to help him as he, as, as he preaches, okay? And pray for me as I preach. Now, Monday evening, um, I want you to look at the Bible conference flyer. Brother Snodderly, I want you to be praying for him, that God will use him, be glorified in his life. He does a wonderful job. Brother Snodderly, Spirit of God on him, uh, talking to presidents and governors and mayors and um, people you know, that are passing laws for Christian liberty, he is, he is really um, taking a stand 
and uh, helping with religious liberty. And so um, I want you to be praying that the Lord would bless Brother Snoddley and his wife. He's, he's planned to bring his wife with him. And um, a young man, the Spirit of God on him, and uh, pray for him. God will use him greatly. And then, of course, um, uh, Pastor Tyson. I want you to ask God to bless uh, Pastor Tyson in a wonderful way. The Spirit of God come upon him. He has a wonderful ministry and as a black assistant pastor. And uh, God is just using him in a great, wonderful way and a wonderful work. And has that bus ministry there, uh, helping churches start bus ministries. And um, if a church doesn't have a bus ministry, they'll help them and raise money to donate that church and, and give them that bus to use to bring people to church. Brother Tyson, a uh, wonderful blessing to see him with his uh, white preacher with a black assistant pastor. We need more of that around our whole country, and hopefully we can stir up pastors and churches and to do all that we can do to reach different nationalities of people. And, of course, Tuesday, Pastor Brandon, Danny Brandon, what a blessing he was to us through the years. And I pray for him. The Spirit of God would um, help help him in a, in a great way and his family. And pray for their safety as they travel. And Pastor Ben's uh, from Georgia, a uh, unique ministry with black preacher, predominantly white church, and doing a great job. Pray for him. Okay? The God, Spirit of God will come upon him in a great way. And then Wednesday, of course, um, you're praying for uh, Brother Lindsay, Pastor Lindsay. And pray that God will strengthen him, uh, give him health, give him strength. Pastor Black. And then, of course, Thursday, Pastor Green and the Pastor Liddell, and then Pastor Liddell and I. So pray that the Spirit of God would help us that Friday. Then we'll celebrate a wonderful time and have a banquet. All right, wonderful. Let's stand, please. Let's stand and be praying for the conference and be here before we know. We're going to have, uh, <laughs> have wonderful times of work and get things done these upcoming days um, before us. We got next week, and that's it. The auditorium looks beautiful, wonderful, brand new paint job. Everything painted. God blessed us, and I tell you, it looks wonderful. Oh, I'm so excited what God is doing, and um, I just thank God for every one of you that pray that God will continue blessing us, but it looks wonderful, and thank God so much for every one of you that pray and, and help uh, financially with all this as well, and we thank God so much for you, and we give, you, we give God the praise, give God the glory. Uh, for it all, and they came in, they came in Monday morning, and they worked, they worked, I'll tell you they worked, they worked like busy bees, Tuesday they came in, they worked, they worked like busy bees, and then uh, this morning, and thank God, you know how Sister Barnett, she's just been working, 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 you know how she is, and beautifying, and thank God, Sister Nathalie helping out, and, and with the decorations, but um, that wonderful, beautiful floor back here, um, Sister Barnett's putting down, it's really setting that choir loft off. God is just helping us, and I'm just excited what God is doing. And thank God. Love you, dear people, doing uh, what you can. You that are doing what you can. Thank you so, so much. God bless you. Would you get your songbook there? And um, we're going to sing. We're going to sing a song, okay, if you will. And uh, get your songbook there, and we'll sing another song. 189, Blessed Assurance, 189. 189, 189, blessed assurance, blessed assurance, 189, okay. Blessed assurance, Jesus is mine. Oh, what a foretaste of glory divine, heir of salvation, purchase of God. Born of the Spirit, washed in His blood. This is my story, this is my song. Praising my Savior all the day long. This is my story, this is my song. Praising my Savior all the day long. Perfect submission, perfect delight. Visions of rapture now burst on my side. Angels descending bring from above 
Echoes of mercy, whispers of love. This is my story, this is my song. Praising my Savior all the day long. This is my story, this is my song. Praising my Savior all the day long. Perfect submission, all is at rest. I and my Savior and happy and blessed. Watching and waiting, looking above. Filled with his goodness, lost in his love. This is my story, this is my song. Praising my Savior all the day long. This is my story, this is my song. Praising my Savior all the day long. All right, wonderful. We'll pray for the grace angels and have you come minister to us, okay? Let's bow our heads in prayer and pray the Spirit of God would help them and minister, okay? Let's bow our heads in prayer, if you will. And pray for the grace angels as they minister to us tonight, okay? Let's pray. Father, we thank you so much that we can pray. Blessed assurance, and thank you so much. Wonderful Savior you are. Thank you for the middle of the week, dear Lord, we can come, encourage each other. Thank you for this beautiful, wonderful auditorium. You bless us with this beautiful paint job. And I thank you, and I give you praise. Thank you for those, each one that decorated. We give you the praise and give you the glory. And give you the honor for each one that helps in the decorating. And we just give you the glory and praise for it all. In Jesus' name, amen. And I want to say special thanks to some, some of my children that helped out last night decorating as well and, and putting up the things that were taken down. And I want to say thank God for each one of you have a part. You can be seated. And uh, the beautifying this place, I want to say thank you so much. God bless you. Appreciate you so much. All right. Wonderful. We give God the glory. We give God the praise. Okay. Thank God so much for his goodness. Amen. And I appreciate you all so much. All right. You pray for each one. God will bless in a special way. Bearing all my sin and shame, in love you came and gave amazing grace. Thank you for this love, Lord. Thank you for the nail-pierced hands. Wash me in your cleansing blood. Now all I know. Your forgiveness and embrace. Worthy is the Lamb seated on the throne. We crown you now with many crowns. You reign victorious. High and lifted up. Jesus, Son of God, the treasure of heaven crucified, worthy is the Lamb. Thank you for the cross, Lord. Thank you for the price you paid, bearing all my sin and shame. In love you came and gave amazing grace. Thank you 
you for this love, Lord. Thank you for the nail-pierced hands. Wash me in your cleansing blood. Now all I know, your forgiveness and embrace. Worthy. treasure of heaven crucified worthy is the lamb yes. praise the lord praise the lord we give god the praise and glory for it all thank god so much for you let's everybody stand please thank you for ministering to us we're going to get ready to worship god in tithes and in offerings would you stand please all right and um, I thank God there are several ways we can worship God, tithes and offerings. Good to see you, every one of you, okay? And uh, we welcome you back, Jimena. It's been a while, but we're so glad that you come tonight, okay? Welcome back. You know, it's amazing, Jimena didn't even know that this auditorium, this will be the first service we're in since it's been painted this week. And you, you're privileged, you that are here, to be able to see this beautiful sight. And I'm sure going to take some beautiful pictures of this auditorium. It's beautiful. It's brightened it up. And, um, and I just thank the Lord so much for it. There's several ways that you can give, okay? On our website, um, gbbc.us, there's several ways you can give on it. And you can give on donation button there. Also, there's an opportunity for text giving. That number is on the website, gbbc.us. And you got 866-826-8954. When you do that, when you're texting, just text the word give. Let me just say give. give. That'll take you to the donation site, okay? The great blessing is this, is our members, once we start getting members to sign in on it, you got to keep putting your, all those numbers in. You, you got to do that. And that's a wonderful blessing. I know Jimenta should be using PayPal, and that's fine if you want to keep using it. But this is, this is wonderful. I want to encourage you to go to our donation site, the Give Up site. It's a blessing. If people give on the website that way, to go right there to um, the same place there, whether it be text giving or hitting the donate button on the website. Also, the QR code, you can take your phone and you can cover there that QR code on the website as well, you know, and uh, it'll pop up and take you right to the donation place. So, um, and then some people just like using cards. Um, you can see me back there, right back there. I'll be over there in a few moments there and, and walk you through it, how I can use your card. And some people like to use their card, okay? And while they're ministering and singing, if you want to worship God in times and offerings back there, that's, that's wonderful. The main thing is God sees people give it. Some people still use check. And uh, we still got Cassandra. I believe she uses a money order. She's through. She sends it in from Boston, a money order. <laughs> that's right. And we will share me the... the Glad to tell her about, um, uh, well, she watches. God bless her. She this beautiful um, auditorium. That's how beautiful it looks and the painting and the, and the wonderful beauty of it. She watches and she listens. And thank God for each one of you that work in social media because she'd be looking for it. And if things, hey, if there's something wrong, there's no sound. She'll say something. But thank God you're working on that. There's sound. It's clear. It's just, you know, it takes money. It takes money to operate. You know, this brand new carpet. It's take money. God's people rallying together. It's just wonderful to see how God has been providing and taking care of us and the things that we want to get accomplished, you know, and this Nehemiah project, um, brand new windows, and that's the frames and everything. And, um, the old windows gone. And, you know, it's a lot of money. We're looking to maybe about $15,000 right there. And then you got, you know, the um, pavement and all that. We want to get that done looking beautiful and all that. That's money, okay? You can start adding up. It's thousands of dollars, you know. And, of course, we want to get some plumbing work um, repairs there, some of the stuff we got to get done. And the front out there, wonderful looking, and uh, get some work on that and some of the brick. But there's a lot of things we want to do, drop ceiling and things like that. But it takes money. But I thank God we, we, we just, $10,000, we paid cash on that bus. 
Brand new, that bus would cost $80,000. Brand new with that lift. We got that for $10,000. It's a beautiful bus. Great condition. God's been good. And we're giving God the praise for these things. But God's people has rallied together. That's the way we got these padded pews. That's the way we got the silences. That's the way we air conditioned. So we got it's nice and cool. We're not, we're, not, we're not burning up with heat tonight. God's people. I thank God for God's people are the best. And I thank God for you. We're going to worship him in tithes and offerings in a moment. Okay. Should be a plate there. Okay. Right over there. Okay. One right over there and another one over there. Okay. Good. Great. Wonderful. Wonderful. Great. Should be two plates. Good. Great. Thank you so much. And um, we're, we're going to worship him in tithes and offerings, okay? All right, at this time, okay? And um, praising God for what he's doing and uh, praying that God would continue helping us in all these matters, okay? And the heads are bowed, eyes are closed. And let's go to God in prayer. Okay, good. Brother Leron, if you um, lead us in prayer, I appreciate it. Glad you can bring it back here when you, when you get it here. Give Joe a hand. Give her a hand. God bless you. Praise the Lord. Wonderful. Wonderful. All right, Joy, we're going to come and have you minister in a solo here, okay? And um, just go by the table back there if you're going to use your card there, and I'll help you out there, okay? And um, let's bow our heads in prayer and pray for Joy. Pray the Spirit of God would, would help her, okay? The Spirit of God would use her for his glory and honor. Father, thank you so much. We give you the praise and give you the glory um, for your goodness. I pray that you would uh, just bless each one here in, in a special way and uh, use them for your glory and honor. Thank you so much how you've been providing for us. There's great needs ahead of us, and we thank you that you've been providing. We pray that you continue and uh, continue blessing your people in Jesus' name. Amen. I know, Lord, your plan for me is right, and I need you to fulfill your purpose in my life. I submit to you, my King. Be my everything, I'm coming to you again, Lord, here I am, I surrender, I surrender, Lord, I surrender my life, give it all to you, I surrender, I surrender, Lord, I surrender my life, give it all to you. Humble and broken, I come to you. I'm trusting and waiting to see what you will do. 
Lord, you know what's best. And at your feet I find my rest. I'm coming to you again. Lord, here I am. I surrender. I surrender. Lord, I surrender my life. Give it all to you. I surrender. I surrender. Lord, I surrender my life. Give it all to you. Thank you so much. God bless you, Joy. God bless you. Would you open up your Bible to the book of Nehemiah, please? Book of Nehemiah. Open up the Word of God here, please, if you will. The book of Nehemiah. The book of Nehemiah is said in verse 1, chapter 4, verse 1, chapter 4, verse 1. But it came to pass that when Sanballat heard that we builded the wall, he was wroth and took great indignation and mocked the Jews. Satan is not going to like it when he doesn't like it. He never did like it. <laughs> and you mark her down, the demons are mad. It's beautiful, wonderful work that we're doing. Nehemiah built the wall. He was doing something great for God. And you're part of this. And, and the devil gets mad. And I told you, Satan will get mad. He's been showing himself. Okay? Expect it. All right? Satan will do anything he can do to discourage you, stop you. He tried to stop Nehemiah from building that wall. He, he was doing something great for God. And I'll tell you, this beautiful auditorium, look how beautiful it's painted, and, and, and just think about the, the, the beautiful decorations and all the work people have been putting into this. Satan's mad. He don't want these things to happen. He wants the work of God destroyed. He, he doesn't want us to exist. People, people that hate God don't want us to exist. But I'm telling you, I thank God. God is helping us. God's helping us. This beautiful carpet. Amen. This beautiful Nehemiah project, striving to get the uh, windows and, and the pavement and the drop ceiling and, and plumbing and, and go on and on, on and on, things that need to be done. Satan does not like it. And you're going to battle. You're going to battle with the devil. You're going to battle with your flesh. You're going to battle with yourself. The heart is deceitful above all things, is desperately wicked. Who can know it? I don't even know how desperate um, wicked it is. Neither do you know how desperately wicked your heart is. That's why we need the Holy Spirit. That's why we need the Word of God. You see? Our biggest enemy could be ourselves, more than the devil. You see? And so we're wrestling, we're fighting. And that's why Paul said, I die daily. You know? And uh, you can't listen to people. Don't let people stop you. And they mocked. Nobody likes to be mocked. And um, he was wroth. In the sand millets. When people hear about these things. Sand millets. When they hear about it, um, when he heard that we built the wall, he was wroth and took great indignation. Great indignation. He's mad. He's mad. He's angry. And he mocked the Jews. Ah, oh, those people there at Grace Bible Baptist. Ah, who do they think? And people are going to say things. People are going to mock. People are going to scorn. Who do they think they are? And um, nobody likes to be laughed at. Thank God for our soul winners tomorrow night. We're going out soul winning by, with God's help. And God bless you. It was a wonderful sight to see our soul winners knocking on doors and going telling folks about Jesus. What a wonderful sight is to see out there. Satan hates this. We're doing God's work. You know, I'm sure some scorn, some mocking. What are these people doing? And God bless you, young people. Don't let that bother you. You're doing God's work. God rewards you. God's been good to you. You just do it for Jesus. And you remember there was those that got stoned and those that got tortured and those that were fed to lions and those that suffered so much in prison for serving God. You see? And we're going to do it while our, we have this freedom because the world doesn't like it. 
And during this coronavirus is so sad and pandemic, there's been preachers that have been put in jail in Canada. They're so close by us, they believe it's going to come to America where they stormed into churches and taken pastors to jail and prison and uh, going after Christians. So we're going to enjoy and thank God for our freedoms that we have. I don't know how long we're going to have them, but tomorrow night, I don't expect the police to take us to jail. I don't, express, I don't expect us to be beaten up. I don't expect us to be threatened. Okay? All right? Now, we thank God for our freedom, but we're going to have to keep fighting. Nehemiah kept on going. We've got to build some walls. We've got to do some great things. We've got we to prepare the house of God. We've got to make repairs. We've got to stay faithful, um, uh, teaching, preaching, singing. Okay? And he spake before his brethren in the army of, uh, of Samaria and said, What do these people Jews? Will they fortify themselves? Will they sacrifice? Will they make an end in a day? <laughs> I'm sure they probably said they, they ain't going to get that Nehemiah project. I can hear some people maybe groping and griping and complaining. Ah, they ain't going to, ain't nothing going to happen. They ain't going to paint that. Ain't no going to get, nobody's going to give, nobody's, I'm sure uh, some um, will um, mock and some will say, I remember when I first came down here, they said, oh, he'll be a fly night, fly by night. He won't last. And um, it's been 36 years now. To God be the praise. Amen. I go visit my family in Connecticut. They said, oh, he's gone. He's not coming back. He's got all the money. He's got the bag, and he's left town. Yeah, our offering back then was probably about $15. <laughs> That's funny, isn't it? <laughs> Y'all chuckling at the community center. But, hey, friend. Uh, people, don't let people discourage you. People are going to say things about you. They're going to say things about your preacher, think, say things about your church, okay? And um, they won't accomplish anything. Will they revive, will they revive, um, will they revive, revive the stones out of the heaps of the rubbish, which I burn? I wish you'd have seen this building. I really do. I have one regret. I wish I had took pictures when we first came into this building. It stank. It was scum. It was nasty. Another church had it, and they let it go. It was dirty. It wasn't beautiful like you see. Uh, we, 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 didn't have the, we didn't have these things. There, there was no um, central heating and air. We, we had to get a roof for it. We had to get a furnace for it. They had a house that stank, no doubt was rat-infested, a place over here, the, uh, right next to it, the building. And to God be the praise, God, God, God's wonderful and worked it out when that thing was leveled and smashed and destroyed and, and cleared out, cleared out. And thank God, thank God, to God be the praise, to God be the praise. And we got our nice um, room out there for our parking out there. We'll be able to park our cars and get uh, more new pavement out there. No, no doubt about that. God will help us out there and how beautiful it's going to look. Amen. But after years, you know, things get old, and it's time to be replaced. And God's going to help us. But God is so wonderful how he has taken care of us. And we didn't have, well, we, 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 had no, we had no vans. We had no vans. I remember saying, God, would you please? And we didn't have no vans. I used to see churches riding around with vans. We had no vans. God, God gave us vans. He gave us more than vans. He gave us buses. And now he's given us that beautiful bus, that beautiful bus. We brought a handicapped person on that bus. And he was there with his dear wife, and she was paralyzed. And got her on that bus, and that machine picked that um, wheelchair up. And we got her to the house of God. God is so good to us. That bus, brand new, was $80,000. We got it for 10000 And look how beautiful, look how new it looks. God knows how to take care of God's people. This, this, what would have cost this beautiful auditorium to be painted, we got half the price. We got estimates. Half the price of these workers. These guys work. These guys work. And I'm talking about they didn't stink and loaf around in two days. And I tell you what, you know, God is so good. He knows how to work it out. He knows how to work the deals out. Amen. But, you know, I looked up there, and I didn't have that beautiful office. I looked up there, and I looked down at this place, and I seen what God can do. I seen what God can do. 
And I didn't visualize you, but God looked down the road and seen what he can do with you precious people. I believe I pastor some of the greatest people on the face of this earth. Amen. It's the most beautiful people in the world. God's good, friend. God is wonderful. And I'm sure there's those that criticize and those that try to discourage. Just like through the years, there's been a lot of people try to discourage me. A lot of preachers try to discourage me. A lot of people try to discourage me. But you know what you got to learn to do? You got to keep doing what you're doing. Keep on going on. Nehemiah kept building the wall. Nehemiah didn't quit. Nehemiah didn't throw in the towel. It's going to get rough, friend. But I'll tell you what, it pays off. And look what God has done. And I remember downstairs, we were well, years ago, and we um, got that drop ceiling downstairs. And I remember that. And I remember how we got our new floor downstairs. And I remember all that and, and how we, years ago, we went ahead and remodeled the whole kitchen. And, and um, God just, one thing after another, took care of us. And he's always been faithful. And I just thank God for God's people that learn to just keep staying at it, keep staying at it, and don't quit. And so, will they make an end in a day? Oh, they're not going to do anything. They said, will they revive the stones out of the heap of the rubbish which are burned? Oh, it was a, it was a, lot, it was a lot worse than when we first came into this place years ago and looked at this place. Um, it... The, <laughs> Nehemiah had it a lot more rougher. The people of Israel suffered a lot more. And things were burned. And things were messed up. And liberties were taken away. And they said, we're going to fight. We're going to fight. We're going to fight for our children. We're going to fight for our teenagers. We're going to fight for our adults. He said, Pastor, why? 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 Pastor, why, why do this? Why? Well, I, I think the children are worth it. I think the teenagers are worth it. I think adults, I think families are worth it. But you want to know what? More than families, more than teenagers, more than children. Let me hear you say Jesus. How should we treat Jesus? The church is his body. He's the head. This is God's house. This is God's place. You say, why? Number one, God. Number one, God. Don't you forget it. Everyone that helps work outside, outside work, is for Jesus. Everyone that works inside here, is for Jesus. People that clean, people that decorate, people that paint. Whatever you do. Any repair. You do it for Jesus. You see? You do it for his house. Your affection is toward him. Nehemiah wanted to do it. Those are God's walls. That was God's house. Ezra said that's God's house. You see? It's an act of love. This Nehemiah project is an act of love. And I thank God for every one of you that roll your sleeves up. This Bible conference, this rare Bible. We're building walls. This reaching all races everywhere conference is for Jesus. It's for God. I know people need to be saved. I know different nationalities. I know the racism and the stinking junk. And by the way, this conference is unique in a separate way. You want to know why? You want to know why? It's hard to find a conference like it. You want to know why? Because so many people, are odd. they're not balanced. You got one group saying, there's no racism. It don't exist. Then you got another a group that says, everybody's a racist. Sad. Somebody's got to be right in the middle and say, everybody's not a racist. But we got to deal with the race problem and deal with it and don't hide it. And somebody's got to say, everybody's not a racist. Not every white person's a racist. And every black person is not a racist. And we need to break it down for them and help them and to be examples of what God is doing around here. And how God has helped your pastors. And I want to help other pastors. And I want to help other churches. We got those letters out. Joy, we got them out. Amen. All those letters going out to all these churches. It's up to God now. It's up to the Holy Spirit now. I just want to help pastors. I want to help churches. I'll get, be getting on the phone. 
you'll be inviting people because we want to we want to do something great for Jesus. We want to build some spiritual walls for these precious young people and old people. We want God to bless people. It's worth it, but we're going to have to fight. We're going to have to fight the enemy. So I beg you to pray. I've asked what I've asked you to do is some of you to pray all night. Well, I'm asking you to pray all night. If you can't pray all night, pick a night, pray an hour, pray 15 minutes. <laughs> But I'm asking you to fast, take a day of fasting. And a a day is too hard for you. Some of you can fast a meal. But you can do something to show God that you want God to pour his Holy Spirit on you and to help you. Amen. And help others. Amen. And I want you to be praying uh, through the day and asking God to bless the meeting. It'll be here before we know it. (laughs) And I'm excited about it. And God has always blessed the meetings, and I'm sure he'll bless again because he's faithful. Thank you for having a part. Amen. Let's bow our heads in prayer. May God help us. Father, help us to fight. Help us to be like Nehemiah. Help us to realize it's worth it. And we want to be a blessing, but most of all, we want to do it for you, Father. We want to do something great for you. And, Father, I pray that you pour your spirit upon these precious ones tonight. I pray you pour your spirit upon them and help them. And we'll give you the praise and glory for what you do tonight. Help us to keep pressing on. Help us don't let let the uh, people that try to hurt our feelings or try to aggravate us stop us. Help help us to be determined. Help us... uh, keep on pressing on. I thank you for 36 years you've been helping this pastor and his wife. And I thank you have been helping this church to keep marching on. And I give you the praise and glory for it all. Can't do it without you. I thank you for these tonight that you helped come. Dear Lord, we pray. Heads about, eyes are closed. We're going to have a special time of prayer. Okay? We're going to have a special type of thanksgiving.